Uh, basically, I've enjoyed hearing Rowetta do it, and because of the interest shown in a proper recorded version, we've decided to do uh, a recorded version of the ones that she did from Unknown Pleasures. Uh, we're doing Closer on May the 18th, uh, and Rowetta will be doing three more, so we'll probably do another uh, EP uh, after that, which I'm looking forward to. Mm. It was very, it was nice to get back in the studio because I've not done anything in um, as a group in a studio. For a long, long time, I'm used to the way we work with Freebase, was just on the computer, all individual, there was no group effort to it. And this has actually been really nice to set up with the lads in Rome and play in the studio. It's like the old days, I mean, my God, it's like my life's going backwards <laughs> instead of forwards. Thank God. <laughs> and Rowetta, what, what was it like to, to sort of perform those iconic tracks? There was a lot of pressure at the thought of it, but I've just loved it. They are beautiful songs. The melodies and lyrics are very easy for me to sing because I can really feel them. And um, so, although it's been difficult, the thought of it was difficult. It's just been a joy. It has been a gift. Um, just everything brilliant. And the response, um, couldn't have asked for any more, really. Um, I know people would be negative about the thought of it. Again, the thought of it, even me thinking when, when Pete first came to me and said, um, I think you should sing Insight for us, I was like, I can't imagine it until I actually did it. And then I thought, this actually works really well. So I've loved it. I mean, it was, it was quite a selfish um, thing from my point of view, was that because I love playing plays, and whilst I think that there's a purity to me singing the songs, I think that's what keeps it special for me and for the fans that want to Joy Division sings the songs. Um, I, I'd rather play bass, to be honest, because it's a lot less pressure. Um, and so getting rowing was sort of selfish from my point of view. And I wanted to play bass, and I love having such a wonderful singing because the performance of the song, and even though Jack is great, he's not as good as me. <laughs> That's your son Jack, isn't it, of course? He's Jack, yeah. he plays bass. So uh, it gives me a chance to sort of relax and really enjoy what we're doing as well. So it's like a, it's a nice double payoff for me. And I must admit that I, I was um, doing the EP yesterday and the vocals sound great. And they do give a different feel and, and a different emotion to the songs, which I think is very valid. I mean, with uh, the other song on the EP, it's an old Joy Division demo that was never finished. And because of uh, Ian Curtis always used to say you should finish it, so I don't really understand how it slipped in it. So the last song was called Pictures in My Mind. Uh, and I love the lyrics when the kid in America called Seth transcribed them for me, a big Joy Division fan. And when I saw the lyrics, I thought, oh God, these are good enough to go out. It's, it's quite a nice thing about uh, memories. It's about pictures conjuring up memories. And, um, feeling that that evokes and I thought Ian had done a great job and he deserved finishing off so it was just a matter of finishing it off and it ties in so well with what um, Ro did. It actually comes together really well and there's the, the guy who's done the sleeve is a kid called James Chatterton and um, he does these sort of visions of Manchester architecture uh, after they've been destroyed by a nuclear bomb. Mm. So he's taking a picture of the Hacienda and the surrounding area of the street destroyed it with a nuclear bomb and that's our cover oh, right. it looks absolutely fantastic mm. and so, that, so it was nice so I read about that in the evening news because oh. he had an exhibition in uh, Ashton <laughs> under my line or something in a pub and it was in the evening news and I saw the picture that he was holding up and I thought oh my god that looks great mm. so we, he's done the, uh, the EP cover so I mean you know it's all about getting us all back and giving mm. us all something to do it keeps us off the street yeah. it does <laughs> and you're going to be um, at the factory club aren't you May 18th to do yeah, the yeah uh... we're at uh, the factory Fact 251 on May the 18th and um, then we're doing a few dates aren't we in uh, London yeah. um, Edinburgh and then we're also doing some festival dates which are very uh, enjoyable to play and uh, yeah it's pretty sure. good it is all excellent it's great. well that's great thanks a lot guys uh,